Hey guys, as you can see, I am here at Walmart and I am gonna share with you some kayak fishing hacks that you're not gonna find in the fishing aisle. As you know me, I'm gonna skip over begging you for likes and subs and we're gonna hop right into this thing. The fishing aisle and the kayak aisle are off limits. All right, let's do this. And right, now I'm hanging in the pet care aisle, guys. And if you come over here, you will find yourself some dog leashes. These bad boys double great as retractable anchors. As you can see, all you do is tie your weight to the end of it and hook this up into the back of your kayak crate and you have yourself an awesome retractable anchor. Just keep in mind the depth or body of water that you're typically fishing because these are 10, 16 feet. Some of them get a little longer as well. And they're not too expensive. You got $10, $12, $17 for the 16 footer. The beauty of the retractable dog leash is you don't have to have a ton of rope laying around your kayak. So now here we are rolling up to the backpack aisle. Guys, these are great for a behind the seat backpack. These things are like 20 bucks. You buy these specifically from a kayak store. Some of these, if they're custom made for your specific kayak, can cost you a hundred bucks plus. These right here, 20 bucks. I bought my $20 mole bag from here and it's lasted me a couple years, no problems whatsoever. And now I'm out here in the car parts aisle and I am looking at these mini bungee cords right here, $4.78. And these things are great. If you're going to build your own kayak crate with rod holders, I actually did a design on this and you can check it out at the end of this video. I'll put a link in the description. The bungee cords are really great for putting a top net or mesh on the top of your kayak crate so all your stuff doesn't fall out or blow away in the wind. All right, I'm back in the car parts aisle, guys. If you ever want to do an LED strip on the side of your kayak, you can buy them back here. But these are probably higher quality. But if you head over to the electronic section though these are $20 here over there you can buy some for five bucks so completely up to you all right back in the car detailing section I found a sponge guys these are awesome of course if you get water in the bottom of your kayak you can get it out oftentimes I use this in the morning when there's a bunch of dew on my seat so make sure it's dry so I don't have a wet butt the rest of the day oh they have it guys this stuff is great as your kayak is made of polyethylene and this is going to be a great protection against UV rays the 303 specific so we Walmart doesn't usually have this, but they do now, which I'm pretty pumped about. I'm back in the hardware section again, and I picked up some of these carabiners. Guys, I love carabiners for a variety of different reasons. On one, you can create some DIY leashes with them, which I've done a video on that. I'll put it in the description below. But also, I love tying carabiners just to a cloth to have next to me. I'm catching fish, they're slimy, but also one of the key reasons is, especially since I video my fishing, is that a lot of times when that fish gets up in the boat, it's flopping around, it kicks water onto my screen. If I don't have a cotton shirt on, it makes it real difficult to wash off my camera screen. So I always have some type of terry cloth. So I'm always gonna have one of these with a cloth attached near my seat. All right, moving on. Just found this in the hardware aisle as well. It's a quick snap, it's a nice little clasp. Usually what I do is I tie my rope onto this guy and keep it in your bow hatch so you have a tow line in case you unfortunately need to ride back to the dock or simply need to tie off your boat. So this right here, good to go. All right, I am dangerously close to the fishing aisle but I'm on the end, so I'm counting it. Of course, you got your rope here for your bow line if you needed it, tons of ropes. And here's some more of those snap swivels back there they're trying to sell you on. And then also, I also carry with me a air horn and I hope they're not $92. Um, Nope, 648. And these are great. Always throw it in the back of my kayak crate in case you need help. You don't want to find yourself in a scenario where you lost your kayak paddle or if you're a pedal power kayak and your propeller broke and you don't have a way to get someone's attention. So for $6.50, it would highly benefit you to get one of these guys. All right. What else can we find? All right, back here in the camping aisle. These are great to have little dry sacks. As you watch any of my other videos, I'm always telling you have a change of dry clothes in your car. And these are really great just to throw those in there so you always have them. Also got some paracord down here. This kind of ties on to the retractable dog leash. If you fish in places where it's deeper than what the dog leash length is, you can tie on some paracord and get some extra length out of that anchor. Find myself over here in the camping aisle again. And we're over by the headlamp. You don't want to get caught out uh, too late, especially if you fish in the evening. It'd be a benefit you to get yourself a headlamp. What I primarily use my headlamps for is in the morning. I usually get up super early in the morning. A lot of times it's hard for me to see because I'm there before sunup. Throw it in your behind the seat backpack and you'll be good to go. And they're not that expensive, but 10 bucks. The nice ones are 30 bucks. I didn't know if they have these or not. These are a boater's dry storage box. Guys, these are really great. 
um, doing a video on how to take care of your fishing line and you definitely don't want to be storing it in UV rays or even in place where there's humidity. So having one of these to store your fishing line will help you out, keep that line so it doesn't snap on you, it doesn't degrade over time. Good to go. Oh, here we go. It's a weird place for this, but in the camping aisle, I've got some Gorilla Glue, um, some super glue. That's what I love using this stuff for. If you ever have soft plastics that are coming off the hook every time you throw it, put a little Gorilla Glue on the end of that and it'll keep it nice and tight like the whole entire day. If you're having trouble with that, Gorilla Glue or any type of super glue really will work on keeping your soft plastics connected to the hook. All right, I'm back in the hardware section. This is really great, guys. If you're on a budget to have some underseat storage, $11.22, you could stick one of these bad boys right under your seat. And then you can have like your tackle, your lures. Uh, I, I have one, it's a little more expensive. It's like $60. You can actually pull out the drawers. But if you're on a budget, this might be a good way to go to have some underseat storage. You're not always reaching behind your kayak crate so if you're looking something more heavy duty they got these bad boys too which is really nice and also if you don't have a ton of fishing line that you're trying to store these hyper tough boxes are great as well basically you need a cool dry place to store your fishing line these are only six dollars and 34 cents so significantly cheaper i found some reflective strips a lot of times these are found in your camping aisle but i actually found these over uh, where you get the garage sale stuff not sure why these are great to put on your kayak especially if you're out in early mornings or you simply just want other people to see you out in the water this might be a good idea and they're pretty cheap too so i think there's three strips in here uh, they're each six inches long what else can we find of course you're gonna need some type of pdf and they have paddle ones but i mean they're 60 dollars. there's a lot better ones out there this is kind of neat first time i've seen walmart carrying these these are your automatic inflatable life jackets that when you hit the water they inflate so if you want a more low profile walmart just started carrying these I've never seen them carry those before so that's pretty nice it's coming out of walmart and there's a few things i couldn't find looking for the 12 volt batteries they didn't have those and then it had pull noodles out which uh, if you've been around the kayak fishing world those things can be used in a ton of different ways but since it was just ice off here in northeast ohio it makes sense that they don't have those out guys if you like this video you're gonna love this one nine beginner kayak fishing mistakes i made and you should avoid right there thanks for watching i'll see you later bye